What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another comic book video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some more X-Men comics that were included in the 2000 comic lot that I did purchase. Now today, like I said, is going to be X-Men. That's usually what I collect is X-Men, Spider-Man, Fantastic Four. A lot of stuff that's from Marvels from the 80s is stuff that I collect and I'm interested in collecting. So if you guys want to send any comics my way, by all means, I will gladly accept. But I am going through the slots that I purchased to resell, but also keep ones that I want to keep in my collection along the way. X-Men is definitely going to be stuff that's going to be really hard for me to want to part with. But I think I'm going to because I do have a lot of X-Men in my collection. And I might have some of these already in my collection as well. I just have to go through my personal collection and see exactly what I have before I end up listing a lot of these X-Men comics. So we're just going to get right into it. Starting off with issue 249. That is really cool. This is around the time that, yeah, they started to sell them instead of one comic a month, it's two comics a month. So this was early October for two forty nine. dollars The next one here is late October, issue 250. Usually the ones like this issue, you know, 100, issue 250, issue 500 of different comics. That's usually what I keep. So this one here I might end up keeping because I don't think I have issue 250. This one was late October, so I like that they were doing that uh, back then. We have 252, so it's missing 251. But that is really, really cool. I love the artwork of these. Uh, we have issue 253. This one is not boarded. They're all bagged, at least. Um, gonna have to definitely check this one out. 254. They look just so cool. I can't wait to read these. I like the black on that one. It pops. Uh, 255. Really cool. And we have Logan front and center. 258. He's having a fight right here. That is really cool. I like the fight scenes on the cover. You guys know what draws me into the comics and me to purchase a comic whenever I'm in like a comic book store. Uh, is usually the cover. If the artwork and the cover is interesting and it's something that it collects, I'm likely going to pick it up. Uh, this is issue 259. Looks like, uh, I can't tell who it is. Doesn't look like Logan, um, but it's fighting some soldiers. Issue 260. No idea is what is happening here. That looks creepy, but definitely going to have to read that one and check it out. I like the pink uh, around it. That looks really cool. Next we have 261. Again, a lot of soldiers on uh, some of these. So I'm gonna have to see what the story is about here, but we have Wolverine here. Looks like he's trying to save uh, this lady down here. That kind of looks like uh, Cable. I can't really tell though. 262. I don't know if it's some aliens or something. I see some eyeballs up here. Definitely gonna be interesting. 263. Again, a lot of soldier related stuff. This one I might end up having to keep. 264 has Beast on the cover. I absolutely love Beast. I'm more drawn into uh, Wolverine, Beast, Cyclops, Colossus. That's usually whatever I'm drawn into. So that's really cool. I usually don't get to see him often in the ones that I find him on the cover like that. So that one might be staying in my personal collection. Uh, 265, really cool. Issue 250, sorry, 269. This is back, uh, I think they're doing it uh, once a month again. Yeah, looks about right. Uh, 270. Wonder if t issue 300 is in here. That would be really cool, issue 300. Uh, 272. A lot going on in this cover, a lot more than I'm used to, but we have cable, at least. That's cool. Uh, 273, I don't think we're going to get to 300 in this video, um, or if it's even in this lot. 274, first one that I actually see, Magneto, and uh, that looks like a futuristic Nick Fury right here. Gonna have to check this one out, it does say uh, Fury on it, looks like him. 275. Eagle Awards 1990. Don't know what that is. Comment down below if you know what the Eagle Awards is. 
Um, that looks really cool though, I like that. And then we have some uh, more modern comics. These are 97 X-Men. Uh, Rogue Squire, uh, I can't really tell. Issue 342. So when they changed over to a new uh, comic box, this isn't really, I like the, the stuff before this one is the stuff that I collect. This here is stuff that's, it's interesting, I might read it, but it's not really stuff that I usually keep in my collection, if that makes sense. Uh, then we have two, oh, sorry, 452. Wow, started on that, 452. So a huge jump right there. Again, this isn't really stuff that I keep. Artwork and that's just not for me, if that makes sense. I like a lot of the 80s comics for the artwork alone. It just, that's what I grew up with, that's what I like, that's what I love trying to find whenever I'm out. That's usually what I like keeping my collection. So at least I think I'm going to be keeping a couple of these ones. I think I already went through them, but I think I missed issue 250. So I definitely think I'm going to keep issue 250. And I think there's another one that I've seen, the one with Beast on it. But the rest of them I might end up selling. Uh, these sell in my area usually around $5 each. I think I'm going to ask 2 to $3. I don't feel right selling them for $5 whenever they're not worth $5 in my opinion. I don't mind picking up one if it's $5. If I'm missing one and I'm really looking for that one specific one, that's fine. But selling these, likely 2 to $3 each. I'm definitely making profit on that because I only paid $0.44 cents each comic. So hope you guys enjoyed this mini-series. Finally bringing comics back onto the channel. It's been a long time. I think it's been four or five years since I had actual comics on the channel. I've had a lot of people watch my old content recently, my old comic videos, and they've been requesting me to get back into comics, and I've really wanted to, but I haven't been able to until I purchased the 2,000 comic lots, which I'm absolutely glad I did, because not only am I gonna be making money, but I'm also gonna be adding things to my collection and being able to make comic videos for you guys as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave this here, and soon will be more Spider-Man and other comics. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys want to see me go through X Factor, let me know. I don't know if I want to make videos on that or not. But if you guys want to see the X Factor comics, there's about 50 of them. I might make two videos worth. Let me know if you guys want to see that, if it's even worth making those videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.